part of that, yeah. During the height of the Super Committee, nego uh, negotiations uh, from a group called Patriotic Millionaires, the, they went to Washington, some of these people, telling lawmakers any deal that does not include higher taxes for millionaires, that's not good enough for us. Well, one of those Patriotic Millionaires joins us right now. Leo Hendry is with Intermedia Partners, and I can go through your resume. Leo, well, we don't have higher taxes, and we don't have a deal from the super committee. So, you know, I, I we were on the three of us earlier when the super committee was conceived, Dagan, and, and there's probably no less democratic institution in the world than the super committee. I mean, we we, we do elect 535 members of Congress, and how these 12 people were going to put put a consensus together with with the others sitting on the on the on the side on the side was was just inconceivable. So here you sit, and, and the only good news relative to the Super Committee is that in the meantime, Greece and Italy failed, so that we, we look sort of okay relative to, to the morass of, of Europe right now. But, but uh, this Vintner chap, was, who was just on a minute ago, I think, you know, he, he pricked your balloon pretty well. I mean, there's, there's no structural changes underway. There's nothing fundamental underway. Unemployment will be roughly this level a year from now. Uh, there's there's no sense that Congress is going to be the imp instrument to fix these uh, problems that we're dug we've dug ourselves into. So, you know, we sit here and the market moves up 300. It'll move down, uh, Connell. It'll move down because there's no reason th those retail numbers aren't the, aren't the foundation for a rebuilt economy. Well, Are I mean, the market was horrible last week. Which yeah, point yeah. I was down more than four and a half percent. Right. So <clears> we're <throat> rallying off that, and, and always put, uh, the, we should always point that out. So we're rallying off that. We had the decent retail number. Everybody f seems to think today, and they may think differently tomorrow, right. that Europe will get their act together, which we've been thinking for a long time, and it doesn't seem to come to pass. But what about our economy? A little bit longer term. Get back to the initial issue there, which is taxes. If we have higher taxes, which is something you've been pushing for, particularly for those who make more money, does that help? It may help in the fiscal situation, but does it slow down an economic recovery? You know, if, if, it's, if it's raising taxes for raising taxes, purposes only, Connell, I think you're right. Most of us are concerned about these inequities. That you, you can't even proffer a loophole closing without being labeled as a tax raiser. You, you can't point out the inequity of those of us who have higher means of paying lesser rates of tax than, than the middle class without being pro, uh, uh, suggested to be, a, again, a tax raiser. <laughs> this sentiment that Grover Norquist has, has sort of laid over the entire Republican caucus in both the House and the Senate, no tax increases of any sort, is just foolishness. You can't be in as deep a hole as we are without answering it with a combination of responsible cuts and responsible raises. The, the, the Democrat who says only raises and no cuts is as foolish, in my opinion, and, and is unpatriotic as the Republican who says only only cuts and no raises. Well, Pat Toomey did come out with a proposal that would, would have raised what, $250 billion, and it was getting rid of right. some of those those loopholes and getting rid of some of those deductions. And I, some people looked at that and thought that that might have been a hopeful jumping off point, and it didn't go anywhere. Well, again, I think the super committee was such a flawed concept. I mean, how is it that these 12 were going to speak for the other 500 and what, 23? I mean, it just wasn't going to happen. And, and so the, the, the prem, Mr. Toomey, I thought, was headed down a responsible path. I mean, he, he said there are raises that we have to encounter right. if we're going to get out of this mess. In Europe, we always ask what's the quote-unquote end game. What about here? Well, how does all this end then? If the super committee was no answer, if Simpson Bowles apparently wasn't the answer, what is? Because we have to solve this at some point. Well, and you're not going to solve it in, in, the, in this next 12 months. We know that. I mean, right. as the election draws ever closer, it's going to become even more difficult. I, I find it just so unconscionably, unconscionably irresponsible that these members of Congress can't sit down and do what's best for this country. We can't sit with 9% official unemployment, 18% real. We can't sit with 10 million women and men in real terms out of work for more than a year. But don't you think, ultimately, that it, it will take our hands being forced? It's going to take yeah. what happened to Italy. It's going to take what happened to Greece. It's like, okay, one day, guess what? You can't borrow 2% anymore for 10 years. It's going to be something dramatically higher than that. And that's what it'll take. You know, I think several years ago, it, when this thing sort of hit us between the eyes, so many people said it's just another cyclical recession. Just hold your breath. Maybe you're going to have to hold it longer than normal, but it'll it'll turn around. When are we going to sit down as, as, as wise women and men and say it's structural? 
that we have too few people in manufacturing, we have too large a trade deficit, we have too much federal debt in general. We're not putting monies where, there's, where it should be and we're putting monies where it shouldn't be. And, and when do you take social issues out of the body politic so that we can decide whether, whether we're going to fix this economy based not on whether a woman has the right to choose her, 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 what she does with her body, her pregnancy. These issues that dominate this society are just killing us, Dagan. We've got to run here, Leo, but it's Leo a good discussion as always. As That's always. fine. Please come back. I will. I look Happy forward to it. Happy Thanksgiving. You Happy as well. Happy holidays. Happy belated Thanksgiving. I know. That's we'll, right. Hopefully we'll see you before maybe New Year's. That's Thank right. Thanks, Leo.